This is the world's first KOA. Actually, the US first KOA as well, but I guess let's consider the world built way back in 1962. It's also the very first KOA holiday. Where are we? Billings, Montana. We booked the site here for just a couple of nights to get a little reprieve with almost full hookups, just minus the sewer. And it's nearly 100 degrees today, but we are right on the banks of the Yellowstone River. So what was our stay like staying at the very first KOA? We're gonna let you know in this video. Come along. I know I haven't been in a lot of videos lately. I actually took a little time to go visit my mom on the East Coast. I went to the beach. We stayed out at Folly for five days. It was incredible. What are you talking about? The beach? I was rocking the mountains. Yeah, in yeah. Minnesota. Left him in the well. mountains because you know beach tribe. <laughs> Not exactly mountains. <laughs> well, but the to, woods. To be fair, we were out <laughs> west for how long? months yeah so and i miss my mom so. right and we actually have more of those videos coming some of those take a little bit longer so we will be playing catch yes. up like actually this is kind of a catch up video we yes. are going back to montana for this particular video we actually just stumbled upon this koa right we had no idea that it was an iconic one <laughs> exactly and it was kind of difficult getting in to that site a little <laughs> just a little bit but the office staff was great about helping us yes. which we didn't need that much help but they kind of reminded a few people that had parked kind of almost in the roadway yeah which made it very tight big rigs are not easy to park as many of you know yes well the lanes that they have you going down to pull in are so narrow to begin with and then they have everybody parking their vehicles on that space so making the turn was woo. right and the tail swing that tail we swing. have <laughs> not subtle no no it looks pretty spacious back there now but we were packed in there last night and i'm sure by this evening it's going to be filled in just as tight again so first let's talk about the pros of this campsite oh the flowers it was so beautiful oh the landscaping spot on yes yes there was the geese in the pond yeah yeah that was really cool and it kind of makes sense because the corporate headquarters for koa worldwide is also in billings Montana. So I'm sure that's kind of their flagship campground. Yeah. And can you say the dump station was nice? <laughs> I think it was one of the most well-maintained dump stations that I've ever seen. Wow, this is a conversation I like to have, talking about <laughs> how nice a dump station is. But hey, well, <laughs> whatever floats your boat or whatever floats your RV. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, the rest of the amenities were really awesome. So let's take a look at those. And amenities include a swimming pool. Looks pretty nice over there. Also a playground for kids and they have one of the coolest little mini golf courses i have seen anywhere 
Check it out. Even the laundry room has its own cabin. And Whole Hog Sandwiches is located right on site here so you can get, wait for it, not barbecue just for dinner but also for breakfast. They're closed during the afternoon for lunch. Hopefully we'll get over there tomorrow morning before we leave and get a awesome barbecue breakfast sandwich or wrap. One cool thing about this campground, it was like, it seemed very family friendly and a lot of activity, a lot of kids, everybody having a really good time. It's just like it had a great vibe to it. You right. know, it was like really like, oh, everybody's having so much fun. The putt putt was really cool. A lot of activity going on there. The food truck, we really wanted to try the food truck. We didn't have enough time, but I had a fun time reading all the reviews and right. it seemed pretty busy. The reviews were awesome. So if you ever go there, be sure to check that out and let us know because we'll have to go next time. Yeah, sorry we missed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the cons of this KOA? Well, as many of you know, KOAs are expensive. We stayed for two nights and it was $70.11 per night with our KOA membership discount. Yes, we're current members right now and also the taxes and fees, but there was something that was included an $8 activity fee per night, which I've never seen at another campground. So I'm not sure what that was. Let us know in the comments if, if you've seen something like that before at a campground. So $70 a night for not full hookups, that's really pricey. We like to spend 20 to maybe $40 a night for full hookups when we're not staying in one of our membership uh, campgrounds. And we have a number of memberships we've talked about, Coast to Coast, Thousand Trails, RPI, Harvest Hosts, Boondockers, Welcome. I mean, a lot of these and they all have their place. So typically we're not paying anything extra to camp or maybe $10 a night or something like that. So this is, really expensive and that's why KOA is really last on our list of campgrounds. One thing, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed a quality site. If you're okay with the price, you're gonna be guaranteed a really nice stay like we've shown you with all of the amenities here, but you're gonna pay. And what's that membership cost? Well, it's like $33 a year and you get a 10% discount off the regular rate for that. So I think if you stayed four nights that it would make it worth it. So we only renew the KOA membership if we plan or we have to stay at a KOA longer than four days. And what's the other con? Well, I think just not having uh, the sewer hookups, you know, for this and the tight spot. But other than that, it was amazing. So why stay in Billings, Montana? We've stayed in Billings a couple times now because right. of the convenience to Yellowstone. Very close to Yellowstone and the Beartooth Highway is up there. Red Lodge. Yes, love Red Lodge. One of our Don't favorite. forget about those jalapeno margaritas. Yes, we got to talk Woo! about those yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and actually Glacier National Park is a little ways from there, but it's a great I, stopping point exactly. along the way. Or if you, you know, for a day trip, I guess you could probably drive to Glacier. There are historic mansions in Billings, uh, Pictograph State Park, Pompey's Pillar, and the Battle uh, for Little Bighorn oh. uh, is there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Yes, and ring that little bell. That way you get notified of all of our videos when they get released. And remember, don't forget, to enjoy, enjoy your, your journey. journey. Bye, Bye guys. guys.
beyond the stars. 